Hey everyone, welcome to Tom Time. Today we will be looking at the VinLab Digital Multimeter VM600A. Now, just a disclaimer: I am not a, a I am not an electrician, so um, my knowledge to this is very limited. However, I do use it. I do know how to use it to check continuity, temperature, uh, voltage, and things like that. And we'll do a couple of tests at the uh, towards the end of the video just to see how this multimeter works. But um, yeah, so I got this multimeter. It's uh, very inexpensive and it packs a lot of feature for the price. I'll put the product of the, the link of the product below um, on this video. So without further delay, let's go ahead and unbox it and see what comes with this bad boy. So let's look at the retail packaging. So this is again, VenLab digital multimeter VM600A, pretty much standard packaging. At least it's not the, a brown or white box special. It's got nice graphics on it. So, yeah. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what the content is with this kit. So upon opening, you got the wire leads. You got the multimeter, which we'll unpack it shortly. A couple of extra fuses, which is always nice to have. It comes with battery. I love that. I'm so glad that they gave this pack this unit with batteries because um, it sucks when you're buying a battery operated device and there's no batteries and you got to go find some yourself. And this is another a set of wires, which I believe is uh, um, possibly the temperature probe. This thing uh, could read temperature, which is uh, another great feature. And that's everything in the box, as you can see here. And then you got the uh, instructions. User manual. So it pretty much tells you all the features that this guy has. So it's not a really thick manual, but it's got a few pages. If you're an electrician, you probably don't need to read the manual. But um, yeah. So let's go ahead and take a look at this guy here. pretty much standard size from other multimeters I've used. It's got a jacket. This, I believe this uh, jacket could come off to, um, or maybe it doesn't. Oh yeah, it does. It's, it's the sleeve. So you could, uh, you could remove the sleeve if you want, but uh, as you can see, but I'll leave it on there. So it's got nice rubberized um, protection. So in rugged environments, if you drop it or anything, um, it will help absorb the impact so it looks like you got a flashlight up here and this reads if a wire um, has voltage you got your probe holders a little mount here if you want to put this uh, mount it on a wall um, for storage you got magnetics uh magnets here so you could stick it on metal surfaces so it could stick on there and a nice little stand in the back so that's pretty cool so yeah, let's go ahead and the battery is located in the back here. So I'm going to plug that in and uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the battery in there and we'll uh, boot this guy back up. Okay, so there is a Phillips screw in the back. So once you unscrew that, so it looks like the whole stand and uh, is one piece with the battery back cover. So here's the battery. So let's get it out of its heat shr uh, heat shrink here. So this. So it looks like it uses four triple A batteries. And looks like you're gonna slide them up there. And then this one just slide the other way according to the indentation inside. 
All right, after you got that on. Two hook, uh, two tabs up here. So make sure that goes in up first and then down. And then we're gonna screw this back in. Don't screw it in too tight, just tight enough. And voila, battery is in. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Well, it's off here. So obviously um, you got you got to set your dials. So the display is really big, as you can see. And you got the hold function. You could change uh, here between frequencies range this is a flash uh, backlight here so at, if you're working in the dark you have nice backlight but i believe if you hold it down it turns on the led flashlight there so that's pretty cool and then you got your leads here so looking at the leads uh looks like these are just probes they're not your, uh, they don't have alligator um, clips on them. So keep that in mind. So it's got standard wire length. And you got the probe uh, connectors here. So this is your probe and this is the temperature uh, sensor here, which is pretty awesome. Um, other multimeter I work with doesn't have temperature probe on it. This one does. And the fuse is inside here. So if, if any anytime everything's overloaded, it will just bust the fuse inside but won't damage the device and these extra fuse is why they give it to you so if that ever happens you just take it apart and pop the fuse back in there so like i said um earlier in the video i'm not an electrician but i know how to use some of the functions on this multimeter um just normal household use like measuring voltage uh, dc ac um, checking for continuity um that uh, the non-contact voltage is uh, pretty cool and the temperature. So let's go ahead and just go through a few of these. I'm not going to go through all of it, just a few. So you could see um, um, how this multimeter works. So these button on the top does a few things. This one uh, acts kind of as a shift button um, for some of these uh, options here. But if you have a reading and you want to hold it, you just hold this button down for two, three seconds and it will hold it on the screen as you release your probe. This guy here um, is for frequency, uh, duty cycle, capacitor zero. So you could um, change that anytime depending on what you're doing. The range is, this is for auto or manual um, auto ranging. And this is obviously your backlight and your flashlight. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the options on here. We'll probably take a look at this here, a uh, voltage reading between DC, AC. Um, we'll look at continuity and NCV and um, on Celsius reading. Okay, so let's go ahead and do some tests with this multimeter, just a few simple ones. So we'll go ahead and take a look at uh, voltage um between ac and dc so i have a battery here which is obviously direct current and i got a live power wire here which is uh, plugged into my wall uh, which is um ac current so if you want to measure a vol uh, voltage um, just go ahead and move it over to that section here and by default it's on dc and make sure that your leads are plugged into these com ports and first thing, since it's on DC, I'll measure this uh, battery. This battery should be roughly, um, um, I think, 1.5 for a uh, AA battery. Yeah, as you can see, 1.47. So that's how you uh, read um, uh, voltage on here. And the next thing, uh, 
If you want to read to AC, let's get rid of the battery. You would hit the function button here once quickly and it switch, switches to AC. So now I can measure this live wire here. So I'm going to go ahead and just probe here and here. And as you can see, uh, most AC uh, household is about 150 volts. And as you can see, it's close to it. So that's how you measure um, DC AC voltage uh, on this multimeter. Okay, next thing that we're going to take a look at is continuity on this multimeter. So you would put your leads in, as you can see, and then move it over to this section here. And then right now it's measuring ohms and continuity. So basically, um, this is a quick and easy test. So um, if there's continuity, if you want to test, you could put the two probes together. And if it gets close to zero, um, that means there is continuity. So if you see OL, that usually means it's open circuit. So if you want to test constant continuity, um, obviously if it's open circuit, that means something in between a circuit is not connecting. So you could check for continuity there. If you want to, um, so basically if you see OL, that means open circuit. So if I'm connecting these two, so that means it's seeing readings and that means that there is uh, a continuity when you see it close to zero. And when you release, it goes OL, meaning that there's a, uh, there's it's an open circuit and there's a problem between uh, the two points of uh, electricity flowing. So again, put it close. That see it's seeing some kind of uh, continuity, but if you let go, OL means open circuit. So if you want to switch it to audible um, for beep, OL again means open circuit. But if you connect, it beeps, meaning that meaning that there is continuity, so you can test it that way. So yeah, so it depends on how you want to use that. So that's just the, uh, um, that's the uh, option there for testing um, continuity um, between uh, ohms and audible. So I'm going to demonstrate how the NCV option works. That's a non-contact voltage um, sensing capabilities of this guy so basically you would hit it to ncv and right now if it's blank it's not detecting any uh um ac voltage but um if you take the sensor here if you take the sensor here <laughs> it, it beeped a little bit but if you take the sensor here and i got this magsafe charger that is live right now it will beep and there's an orange light telling you that it detects the signal so it detects are pretty good, as you can see. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to unplug it just for demonstration. And as you can see, there's no more power going through it. So it's the red light, I mean, the orange light isn't going to be on and it's not going to beat. So that's a pretty handy tool to have um, to measure for uh, power around the household. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the temperature um, probe setting. So you'll want to move it all the way over to C. And by default, it's on Celsius. So um, if you want to change it to Fahrenheit, you just hit the function and hold button quickly. And it will switch to Fahrenheit. And it will show you. I think there's an internal temperature sensor inside. So it's reading the room temperature right now. Um, but if you want to switch it between Fahrenheit and Celsius, just hold uh tap this button fast if you hold it down long it will hold the temperature reading so yeah so my room is roughly about 72 degrees right now but it comes with a temperature probe here which you can use so basically you just um line up the uh color to the uh, connector here so calm black and you see where it says uh celsius there plug that into the ports here like that now it should use the probe to read the temperature and to check that um let's see if it will read my um, body heat yep as you can see it's going up up and it reads it pretty fast which is pretty good my hands is a little bit cold because it's a little cold day but um, yeah so there you have it so that's the temperature probe there 
So it reads really, it reads it pretty, uh, pretty solid there. So that was the temperature demonstration. So um, not many multimeters have that. So it was kind of cool to have that option there. There's a lot more features here. You can measure AC, uh, DC voltage uh, between these guys here, millivolts. Um, um, and these are um, also um, some of the other measurements for uh, ca capacitance measurements, frequency duty measurements. So you got quite a few. Um, I usually don't use all of this uh, features because um, um, I, 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 again, like I said, I'm not an electrician. So there's uh, only a few features that I like to use on here, which is just measuring um, voltage. Um, the NCV, I'll probably use that a lot. Temperature, I'll probably start using that too, and continuity and things like that. So uh, there you have it. This is pretty much the unboxing video and a quick tutorial of this guy here. So definitely cool to have. Um, if you want to stow your probes away, um, make sure that you have the caps back on here. And then you could... Uh, um, put them back here as you can see so just slide them in like this or however you want it you could have the probes um, you could have the probes facing down if you like got the cool kickstand here led light is definitely a big plus i, I like that feature let me turn the light off and there we have it so yeah, this looks pretty rugged and I like how it comes with the extra fuses and some of the whole extra holders back here. So yeah, um, that's pretty much the unboxing video here. If you liked the video, please hit that like and subscribe button, share the video also, tell your friends about this product, very affordable and pretty versatile. And again, I'll put the link to the product below. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out and stay safe.